one time, you realize you don't have enough rounds to finish the drill. Well, it's always nice to start with one of those range flubs out there, you know, just to kind of let you guys know how my day was going out on the range that day. So welcome back everybody. And today we're gonna to be talking about the P80 grip module for the SIG 320. In this case, I have my M17 slide on it. Now P80 has come a long way since they first started coming out with frames for the Glocks and stuff like that. I think the first one was called like the Spectre. Um, and they had the version twos and they got all that different stuff out there. And now they have jumped into making the frame modules for the 320 series. Now, in my opinion, it is a vast improvement over the standard 320 grip for many different reasons that we're gonna get into here in a minute. And for those of you out there that don't know, the frame module, as it's called, is not the serialized piece. So the actual serialized piece is just the chunk of metal that houses the trigger group in there. Um, if you know that, just kinda, you know, not everybody knows that people might be new to the 320 series, and we'll definitely take a look at that here up close in a couple minutes. But that's a big difference between uh, other manufacturers and the 320 by SIG. Uh, because this is basically just a piece of plastic, unlike most other pistols, where that's actually considered the serialized frame. And depending on what you have or what your initial purchase was, if it was a standard 320, like I said, I think the P80 grip is a standard improvement over that, unless you bought something, say, like the X series right here, because I'm going to tell you right now, this thing is a definite improvement over the standard uh, grip module, and then this one is kind of just a different level, especially if you like that 1911 angle. Well, let's go ahead and talk about how this thing performed out there on the range, because it's definitely a different feeling over that standard grip module. Now let's talk dry fire. Whether you're doing it in your home or whether you're doing it out there on the range, do it. One, it's gonna get you comfortable and familiar with that grip angle and the differences from your factory grip. It's also gonna help you conserve that ammo and still get some good, decent dry fire practice because ammo is a bear right now. And dry fire really is kind of a key to success if you talk to a lot of instructors or a lot of competition people. Most of what they do is taking place in the home and then they go and they fine tune those details out on the range. And then of course, whatever you do out there on the range, especially if you're shooting in the open desert, clean up after yourself. The last time I was out there, ended up taking almost another, you know, a pickup bed full of trash out with me. And that's just no fun. That land is out there for us to use and enjoy. So clean up after yourself, you dirty little pigs. The grip angle on this is like that 1911, like I said. Much better profile for my wrist. Felt very native and very natural when I was out there on the range. Now that extended beaver tail really does help reduce that recoil impulse. Because being that SIG kind of has that higher bore axis, it is going to feel like it's flipping up on you just a little bit more than some other things out there in the market. However, that beaver tail does help you get into it a little bit more, along with those accelerator cuts on both sides, whether you're left or right-handed. Now that texture is definitely on point. Plenty to grab onto, and it is far superior than what is on the factory grip modules that SIG offers. And the more grip you have on there, as long as it's not tearing your hands up, probably the better off you're gonna be. So as always, when I'm out there with something new like this, a new part, a new piece, I like to run those basic drills. So of course, when you start out, you're gonna have little differences that may kind of throw you off a little bit. I definitely flubbed a mag reload or two, and you kind of see that out there. And then once I got comfortable with it, started to speed up, and it did really feel quite good out there. And of course, I ran a couple of build drills or things like it, where I just draw and get that grip angle down, fire a few rounds. And then of course, ran the bare standard drill, which is one of my favorites and then doing those transitions as well. And the reason I like to do the transitions, whether it's just one round, one round, or two round, two round, or El Presidente drills or whatever, is because it's really going to help you get your grip angle, point of aim, point of impact down, especially since you're changing the angles in your grip, throwing this new modular grip on here. Uh, it's just gonna be, a, even if it's just a degree different, you're gonna notice that out there in practice, especially if you've put a lot of rounds through your 320 already. But by the end of the day out there, I really did get comfortable with the new frame on there, and I really appreciated the changes that they had done to it. Let's go ahead and get into this thing and show you the fine details of this compared to the factory grip module, and then we'll talk about the uh, different options from P80 for this thing, whether it's the mag release colors or the colors of the frames, all that good stuff but really just to key in on those details to show you the real difference between the two frames because there's a lot going on here between this thing and the standard 320 frame. But make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, turn the bell notification icons on, and if you're into this stuff, definitely give the video a like. All right, let's go ahead and get into this P80 grip module for the 320, or in this case, the M17. So this is the M17, so it's that nice stick of peanut butter color. 
let's talk about this frame and get into all the specs and then compare it one to one here. Uh, I do have the manual coming, just so you guys know, I just don't have it in yet. So I will do a test on that and kind of put my information out there. So going from mag weld to muzzle right here, you can see we've got a nice little lip that's kind of native to the grip right here to get a hold of your pinky. If you've got those bigger hands. Got that solid grip texture that P80 is known for. Very aggressive all the way around the front, sides up real high, on the back all the way, just a shy of going all the way up into that uh, beaver tail right there. They've left that smooth, but that nice extended beaver tail just gives you a ton of capture area for the web of your hand really control that recoil impulse. Moving forward, great double undercut right there. Gives you a really good area to get hold of that thing, hold on to it. Uh, the magazine release is reversible. They went to a Glock style magazine release and we'll talk more about that in just a second here. Now moving forward, we do have a very nice and deep accelerator cut area right there. I mean, you can really get a finger on that thing. Um, it's deep, that's deeper than most ones I've seen out there. Moving forward, nice pick rail. Um, you will see on the shorter carry slides, it has been sectioned right there on the frame to match you know, the uh, indentations of the muzzle, like right there, you can just barely make it out. But that would line up nicely with the carry slides. Other side here, we got that port for your serial number because if you don't know, I'll tell you, and if you do know, just stand by because not everybody knows. The trigger module is the actual piece. That's what's considered the actual serialized part not the frame module. Like I said, this is the piece that is considered the serialized portion of it. Everything else here, just a part. So this is what the ATF cares about. Nothing else here on the table. When it comes to the frame, the differences between it and the factory one. Let's go ahead and look at this stuff side by side here. Now you can see there's a noticeable difference in the color here. It almost makes the factory frame kind of look a little mustard yellow to me, but uh, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. Looks much more like the Streamlight color. So just something that I happen to notice. One of the things with the factory 320 grit modules is you can kind of see the bubble effect right there. So there's like a, like a bubble, like a push out on the front and the rear section of that grip module. So it kind of feels like you're holding a ball, like one of those stress balls in your hand or something. Now, when I put these two on here like this, you can really kind of see it right here towards the back. You can see how it kind of bubbles out and you can kind of see it on the front there as well. So it gives a different feeling in the hand. And quite honestly, I didn't like that feeling. It just wasn't my thing. Now you can see the beaver tails right there. You are getting pretty good amount more of surface area. Let me get these perfectly lined up here. You get a good amount of surface area there um, on the polymer radius compared to the SIG. Much more flatter profile, much deeper profile into that web, which is going to help you control that recoil impulse. Now, if you look down in there, I know the light's a little bit tough. Bring it up. You can see that valley here in the front, uh, that V kind of taper, stick my pinky, right in that area. Now, that's like the Glock factory magazine release style thing they got going on here. Literally almost exactly the same thing. That's how they achieve that reversible mag release and that's super easy to change out. Now I did get the black one and the flat dark earth one. They both came in the box. I think that's how they're gonna come, but I don't know. Other than that, the grip feels great, especially as compared to this. So I did hear one thing about the magazine release here. Um, we're gonna talk about that in a second about the polymer on the metal mags because the SIG mags are metal and it's polymer, and that's the edge that uh, the release catches on. As far as what this fits, okay, this only is made for the nine millimeter stuff right now. Fits the 320 full, the 320 carry slide. That's why it has those nice little indentations right there to match the slide. It will also fit the X5 full and carry slides and the 320 VTAC. And then of course, this being the M17 right there. And if you haven't seen the video on this, it is up, I'll leave links in the description for all of my reviews on that stuff. So definitely a nice change. Give you one kind of last look at those side by side from what this is, that 1911 grip profile. I'm a huge fan of that. Very neutral angle as compared to the feeling of this. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about that magazine release. Now overall, P80 did a great job on this grip. That 1911 angle, that Glock style reversible magazine release, the accelerator cuts, the texture, 
It's a lot of real positive stuff going on here with this grip and it does make a difference. If you like the more 1911 angle, that extended beaver tail, definitely a plus out there on the range. So let's talk about one thing that was brought up by a viewer. A viewer did bring up the fact that this polymer magazine release, uh, he said he had had it and it was just worn down so bad by the metal magazine lip right there that's catching that mag uh, release button on the inside. that You could actually just shake it and the mags would fall out. Well, I could see that as a possibility because you're putting metal on polymer and you can't get somewhere over time. I haven't experienced that yet, but I don't have that many rounds through this frame yet. I've only got a couple hundred rounds through it. Um, I felt comfortable with it, but I can see where that may or may not become an issue with thousands of rounds down the road. Now, the price is definitely right. I saw them coming in right at 55 bucks, and there are a bunch of different options available. As you can see here, I got the flat dark earth. They have OD green, they have black, they have that cobalt, and they have gray. Um, I think that's it, OD green. Did I say OD green? If not, those are the colors they have. So there's a good selection of colors. They do have the mangles out there, just don't have one out here yet. And I will get one and test it for you guys as soon as I can get it out to the range. Now, overall, I definitely dig it, especially when you compare it to the standard 320 grip module. I don't like the way that the standard grip module kind of feels like you had a stress ball in your hand. And I just like that 1911 grip angle better. And I do like the texture on this one better. And at 55 bucks, why the heck not, right? If you, if you want a different color, you can get a different color. Uh, if you want more texture, you can get more texture. You're not having to like stipple your frame or do anything like that. So it's, it's an option out there if you are into it. I really hope you guys liked the video and learning about this P80 grip module for the 320, or in this case, that sexy slab of peanut butter M17 slide that's on this one. You guys get out there and have some fun. We will be doing more SIG stuff. I've got barrels, I've got magwells, I've got uh, full custom slides coming in, some aftermarket parts kits, some triggers. We're gonna do it all here with this 320 just like we try to do with everything else. You guys enjoy some life. I will see you guys on the next one.